Well, current conditions right now showing temperatures are warming up fast here. We still have a ways to go this afternoon, but we're already knocking on the door of the 90s for much of the area. Some of us already at that point. Melbourne at 93, Council Grove at 94. Probably still have at least 5 to 6 degrees to go for most of us here with that feels like temperature already feeling like the middle 90s for much of our area. Our northern counties and uh, municipalities such as Hiawatha, Marysville, Concordia, a little bit on the cooler side because once again they had some very early morning light rain pass through the area. But uh, again, that's still uh, very hot, but just a little less hot in comparison as uh, we head on throughout the day here. But looking towards the next several days, we are going to be cooling down. The last three days of these triple digit temperature values have been uh, extremely sweltering, but we're definitely going to get a bit of a break. Much cooler in comparison, though it'll only be average here for the uh, beginning of July, which starts starts tomorrow. So as we begin the new month, we'll get a new weather pattern, so to say as well. Uh, probably not going to get higher than the lower to middle 90s here sometime in the middle part of next week, maybe on Independence Day itself here. And uh, that is going to definitely bring some changes to what has been a very hot week so far. We're also going to increase our chances of rain here over the next several days as soon as tonight. The last two mornings we've had some rain go across some of our northern counties and areas. But today uh, or sorry, tonight and into the next several days, it looks like things will be a little bit more widespread and scattered with uh, those showers and storms. And while Sunday and Monday, I think, are going to be dry after tonight and into tomorrow afternoon, uh, we're expecting that rain. The rest of next week at the moment is looking like it could provide us with some further chances of activity there as well. So we'll be watching that and tracking it here, uh, especially in the middle part of next week for any 4th of July celebration. So uh, we'll definitely want to keep an eye on that. But what we're currently observing right now in our live storm storm tracker isn't a whole lot. Some heavier rain and uh, even some severe storms were observed in parts of Iowa and Missouri earlier this morning after it kind of clipped again our northern counties here. But uh, looking out to the west, just some very light rain uh, and uh, really not going to worry about a whole lot here over the next several hours. We'll just have to watch and see here. Uh, Jeremy Goodwin will be here later tonight tracking any possible storms that might develop here in the area. But uh, the likelihood of anything becoming strong to severe right now is going to be pretty low. I think it's just going to be a very evenly distributed amount of showers and some weak storms across the area. But here's a bigger picture looking at our eight day forecast over the next several days. Again, those temperatures will cool down and uh, start to rise again. But that uh, peak of the temperature mountain is going to be uh, definitely lower than what we've seen here lately. So uh, definitely not going to be dealing with what we're currently seeing right now, at least not for this period that we might have some more rain in the forecast. Uh, definitely could have some more chances to bust out the those umbrellas overall.